I'm going to be discussing Ezra Pound, an American poet, and the ways in which he influenced modern poetry. Ezra Weston Loomis Pound, otherwise known as Ezra Pound, was an American poet, born in 1885 in Idaho, and died in Venice, Italy in 1972. Ezra Pound wrote many great poems. Of his many great poems includes In a Station of the Metro, originally published in 1913, The Cantos, 1925, Hugh Sullivan Mulberry, 1920, The Sea Fair, 1911, Francesca, which is one of my personal favorites, published in 1909, and Papryas, 1915. Pound was known as an imagist poet. Imagism is a type of poetry that describes images with simple language and great focus, such as the use of similes and metaphors. It came out of the modernist movement in poetry. In the early 1900s, poets abandoned the old ways of writing poems and created a new movement in poetry called modernism. Poets began using modernism as a reactionary movement against Romanticism and Victorian-style poetry. Imagism emphasized simplicity, clarity of expression, and precision through the use of exacting visual images. Writers wanted to innovate and experiment with new styles of writing that fit the new modern lifestyle. In a Station of the Metro, written by Ezra Pound in 1913, describes exactly how Pound was considered the father of modern poetry and how he was one of the founding fathers to really take the first leap into changing the style of poetry. The poem reads, The apparition of these faces in the crowd petals on a wet black bough. And although this poem is only two lines long and is very short, this is because Pound was actually influenced by Chinese style poetry, specifically haikus, and I think this was one of his attempts at an haiku in this different style of poetry. So how is this considered modern? Well, the entire poem consists of only 14 words, and the entire poem is a verbless poem, meaning that there are no verbs, specifically because he used similes and metaphors to really describe and allow the reader to visualize what he was trying to say. This style of poetry broke from the normal pentameter that most poets would use and organize their poems around. And this also allowed the reader to visualize what is happening and create a picture in the reader's mind. Modernism in the 20th century. Writers during this time wanted to break out of the traditional way of thinking, writing, and everyday life. Modernist writers, like Pound, rebelled against Victorian writing style and historicist traditions. They confronted the new economic, social, and political aspects of the changing world into a modern and industrialized new life. This is one of my favorite poems that I thought described Ezra Pound's way of thinking, especially during this new modern wave, and is, A slave is one who waits for someone to come and free him. Because I believe that during this time, it was all about freedom and expression and just a new way of life. <clears throat> so modernism consists of many isms. For example, these poems included imagism, cubism, expressionism, surrealism, futurism, and symbolism. And here is another great quote by Ezra Pound to describe this. And it is, the image is more than an idea. It is a vortex or cluster of fused ideas and is endowed with energy. <clears throat> and overall, Ezra Pound was responsible for the poetic revolution because of his innovative verse, 
his use of ornamental language, and his rejection of the poetic guidelines.